Morning guys. Stagman here. Um, was asked by one of the subscribers the other day about uh, the reason for putting Vaseline on uh, on a uh, cotton ball. So what I've done this morning is, got a day off from work, basic cotton ball, one just with Vaseline on it. Uh, just to give you an idea of burn times. So uh, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I was going to fire it up with that, but I think I'll use the lighter, it would be easier. And you'll get an idea of burn times. As you can see, the Vaseline is like a, an accelerant. You can see how quick the other cotton ball is uh, has glowed and it's virtually out now, to be fair. Um, without too much manipulating, I haven't manipulated it in any way. But uh, hopefully, Lee 70, that'll uh, give you an idea and answer your question in a more I'm not very good at putting things into uh, into type but this gives you a, probably a better idea of, of why we use Vaseline um, as you can see it, it, it just so much better and uh, so my granddad taught me this I don't know 40, 45 years ago 47 years ago um, so he was a, a great outdoors man, a coachman in his life. Uh, he used to drive coaches all over the country and all over Europe, and um, basically was brought up during the war where the philosophy of make do and mend was the philosophy, or well, not philosophy, but their way of life, and. Uh, he taught me a few things, which this be one of them, and some other bits and pieces, which over the course of the next few months I'll try and put on the video. If I can remember how to do half of them and remember the, some of the things that come to me in, in fits and spats of what used to happen. As I say, it's 40, 45 to 47 years ago, you know, when I was a young, a young lad, then sort of 13, 14, really didn't bother about taking attention to anything. And as young kids thinking, ah, oh, I won't never have to do this. But I realise it's a lost and dying art. But anyway, Lee, that gives you an idea of, let's say it's still going. I don't know what that's been, two, three minutes. And if you incorporate that onto a wax ball, uh, one that we've made previous with a little bit of red. Um, so you can see, solid now. I'm going to use that for something else in a minute. And just give you an idea of of how this how this is. And to Bill, I've uh, got some wood there. I'm going to show you. Um, you said you'd like to have seen the uh, burner run a little longer while well, it's virtually in position and uh, we shall uh, be firing that up shortly. Um, the fire brick you see the uh, flame on uh, was made by me. It's a small wood frame and I've got some uh, cement off of uh, eBay, good old eBay. Um, some fire brick cement uh, or surround uh, mouldings and I just basically flattened it off into a wood mould um, that had greaseproof paper in it and uh, pulled that out so that's uh, basically a square tile and then I just run some bits to the edges so we'll give that a go as you can see it's virtually out now it's been 
four, four minutes, four and a half minutes, compared with this one, which is totally out. You know, still hasn't burnt all the way through. And as you can see, I didn't play with any of them, just literally lit them and let, let them loose. As you can hear, the builders in the garden next door again. Right, that's still going, there's still a slight flame there. About five minutes. You should see a little puff of smoke as it finally dies off. There is still a slight flame on this edge here. It's gone. It's just gone out. So there we go. So about about five and a half minutes thereabouts. Right, I'll set up the next one.